So, I mean, how else are you going to find caves? Cute horses. It's a solid seafoam green one, but... Okay. Pineco. Pineco. I probably have enough stamina to train another horse, but I don't want to yet. The phone has been doing the work, but... Oh, hello. You shit. Dust Claymore, that was it. The, uh... The cool, curly sword. Yeah. Okay. Just scan my options here. Still weird to me that we've only encountered Lionels in the depths. And that I got surprised by it, too. That was the worst part. It's floaty. Alright, well, I guess we can just climb that, right? I don't think that's good. Or we can just build a bridge? Or at least a bridge over to where we can climb it. It looks like regular ass water, so I don't I'm not too worried about it, honestly. Should have it. Actually, maybe build a if, if at the very least build a bridge and climb that. Oh. That's not grabby. But if there's enough material here to make this thing huge, I am all for it. Flatten, then spin. And I guess I could strap some logs to it if I had to, too. I saw, um... Modus Interactive... Who's so several of their games we've played here before? Uh, managed to make a like a, a functioning pod racer <laughs> out of stuff. Apparently, uh, if you glue like a um, a cooking pot in there, it uh, functions as kind of a um, like a ball joint. So they use that for the rotational bit. Threw four fans on it. Oh, it's ridiculous. Let's right. size up. Let's see where we are for length, if I could get the little guys or not. Oh. I saw one uh, sign guy off in the distance at some point. I think it was this morning when we weren't streaming now, so. I have not partaken of that in a while. It's pretty long. But what if we made it longer? And did it without having to wedge our way through like a freaking ridiculous hallway. Actually, is that one of the sign guys? I think it is. Well, crap. I don't know, that's just a weird branch. Alright, never mind. Okay. Uh... I hope this is long enough. Well, also having the height to do it. Perfect? Perfect! Alright. Tower get. I'm gonna run on the parts that are glued, just in case. But we got there. Lindor's Brow. The truffle guy. Alright.
so ideally we can get eyes on the last tower from here and then glide back to that other glyph i like that weird spot helix vertical thing that was just in shot flush me baby And I might stop on some of these islands if I see a shrine on one, but I'm not too picky. I should probably at least try to mark some chasms too while we're roaming around so I can see them marked on the map below. Okay, so I want to look south. West. Ideally. And maybe, yeah, if I can go to those islands, I might be able to skim from there. Okay, go to the spiral, boys. I don't need to do activities there, I just need to find a freaking tower. Please don't have a QB boy, I'll tell. Actually, there's something up there. That's interesting. Oh, there's two glyphs I could fly to. I kind of want to fly just to the one that's on the way to where we're going. That was close. Alright, Sundelion. What is this? Might be another, like, rings mission. Another orb? It's another rings mission. Looks like a straight gliding one, though, so I might go ahead and do that. But before we do... Keep an eye out for towers. All right. We are looking in roughly the correct direction here. Yeah. Nothing else. This flight should take me towards roughly that glyph. All right. Uh. Countdown is okay. Hey, we got it. We got a crystal. Oh, in order to just turn straight into a thing. Cool. This I might investigate, because I think these are tied to the uh, glide outfit. I think? I thought they were towers, though. Not islands. Fairies here, that's nice. Well, let's talk to this guy. Maybe he knows what's going on. He's got a whole pile of zonite to process, and we still haven't gotten any battery upgrades yet. 
Welcome. This is the set of ceremony to test your courage. Courage is demonstrated by diving headlong through the sky. No challengers have vis visited this island in a long time. I'm glad you have come. I witnessed your dive earlier. You seem to have come prepared. Now then, let us commence the with the dive ceremony. Dive ceremony? I do not know the dive ceremony. Oh. I did it. I'll pass. Well, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is mark the shrine real quick. I guess I might have to do it a second time, which is fine. I mean, if he wants to beam me back up there, that's great. Already did the thing, but okay. Okay, I didn't offer one, but whatever. I got plenty. Take a charge. Thirty-five seconds. Okay, so we gotta dive a little more. Okay, countered. Got it, 35, baby. Woo! That's one part of the outfit. But I think there's three of those that we gotta do to get the full set. I have more way to see your courage. Glide shirt. What I'm going to do is put the shirt on. I, I think we're going to do the reattempts once I have the full set, because then I don't even need the glider to wiggle around. But then we'll go for record attempts. Where is it? Where is it? There we go. That way I can use it to find the next tower more easily. All right, so still looking in this general direction. I don't see any freaking tower, baby. Where's that glyph that we saw? Please tell me they're visible during the day. Actually, do I have any horns? I should probably drop some into. Some goodies here. <laughs> Time bomb. Okay, that the, I've seen those. Okay. Okay, there's the glyph. Let's see how this shirt works. Oh, no. It's not that useful from this fight. All right. Shrine here. Let's get the shrine near the glyph first. Oh, and there's a stable there too. Cool. Oh, that's a Korox thing right there. What's up with that? Doesn't look like there's a gap though, so either I need to add another rock or something else. Alright, open that. 
glad we found part of the glide set. What's going on here? Uh, looks like it goes to this outer lip here. Got him. About to get choo chewed, but we got him. Don't even. Do not start with me. Stop doing that. Animal Crossing. Again. Alright. The glyph was over there. Okay, so. We marked that. I'm gonna jump the shrooms. So there's a shrine on the far side there as well. Fantastic. Warrock drop off. Be a Korox. Yeah. Well, I like get them nice and quick. Trying to activate the thing, I guess I just hopped off the thing too quickly. It would be rainy here. I think that's on purpose to make the glyph harder to get to. I hate you. Sometimes you can struggle, bless it. Alright. I'm not trying to climb this shit. I just want to get over... Got some Korok business there, anyway. What the hell is that? Alright, the weather cleared up, though, so that's good. Let's get Gliffy. Where's my obligatory Korok? Unless he's under the big rock. But there's still room to move here. Okay. There's the obligatory Korok. Still gotta find the wets though. Probably at the peak again. <laughs> Obligatory core rock. Yeah. Gonna drop a rock on him. <laughs> you have dodged death thanks to Joy-Con Drift today, friend. Well, I guess not death so much as blunt force trauma. But regardless. 
up here. Looks like a hand. Alright, shrine over there I can ding. And it looks like we got a lot of climbing coming up. Um, yeah, it kind of surprised me last time where the drippy was, so. Show me the drippy! I wonder if eventually we get a radar that makes it easier. Like a sensor on the, uh... Whatchamahoo's it? The Puro Pad. And I've just gotten way ahead of myself, as usual. I thought it would be in one of the round looking bits, but I don't know. And like none of the previous ones have forced me to like put anything into position to activate it, so I don't know what's up. Is there anything that looks vaguely like a recess? Come on. Okay, I wouldn't guess this because there's a bush in the way. I guess we're combing every inch. I don't think it was a time of day thing either. What's the tower? I just want to map all this shit. I also didn't really like follow the lines in any particular pattern when I did find the other two, so. clean it up while we're here. I don't think we had to for the any of the other ones, but... It was just ambient environmental. What was it? Nope. Whatever, keep looking. I feel like I should have taken a photo of it from the air to get an idea of what we were looking at. Right. I didn't mean to shove that, but here we are. It did look kind of like a bird. 
Oh no, I'm arcing left. That's on purpose this time. Shit complex. <laughs> Wait, what was this? ah filled in teardrop? Got him. Okay. I think that's the reversal rune activating every time I come to one of these, too. Yeah, because it slurps the water up. Okay, that makes sense. I like that they made that kind of contextual. Diegetic? I don't know. Alright, let's watch this one. I'm going to take a quick break to grab another sip. And we're finding this last ass tower. Gazebo! Oh, I see. Cup tricks. Are you well? You seem a bit distracted. I apologize. I keep getting lost in my thoughts, thinking about how I can return home. With your power over time, if I were able to learn that kind of control, I might be one step closer to my era. I see. I kind of appreciate, the like, is to think of it like drawing out the how, like, the way it worked out is kind of a uh, reversal, or, where it is now. And then like, they turned the whole Ocarina of Time thing on its head, where Zelda is the one pushed through time. The object's memory. Even though she it's can't shift manually. Almost like second nature. And you will be able to find your way home. But Zelda... There is more on your mind than just that. Huh? You, of course, do want to get back to your time. But you also desperately want to help us out in this era. <gasps> Am I close to the truth? How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> I do not believe it is possible to keep anything secret from Sonya. <laughs> oh, your concern is very sweet, Zelda. But listen. You can focus your attention on returning home. I was appreciate like build wise, Sonya is kind of somewhere between Naburu and um. Sacred power that can dispel evil. Urbosa, not Naburu. Both. Naburu was the one from Ocarina. Um, yeah, somewhere between Urbosa and Zelda's more slim build. Sonya. And of course, you must make it home safe to put Link's mind at ease. Link. Uh. That is not a name I have heard. He is a royal knight. He had been originally appointed for my protection. But later, he became a hero by saving both me and Hyrule from a great... He did a lot of sword shit. Oh, a hero is he? He is so very dedicated. And he refuses to back down from any challenge. He is very... Keep an eye on the colors of the Magatama, so like... And his heart is good and true. Rauru's is kind of bluish. Hers is kind of yellow-greenish. I see that you have absolute faith in him. Hearing you speak so highly of Link, I find myself wanting to meet him as well. I want to give him a hand. Indeed. Yeah, I would also Can't get a good him. eye on hers, because I'm wondering if hers is... The brave, courageous knight. ...orangish red and therefore what power. picture Zelda paints of him. <laughs> <laughs> Bloop. Okay, next up. Tower time. Let's go. <laughs> oh no, break time, then tower time. Okay. Uh, 
All right, I'm going to pause so I don't get destroyed here. While we're waiting for tower time, I'll be right back. I still don't know what to do with that soul thing I found either. All right, we got blue stuff, blue stuff. I really gotta start spending more nights at the end to uh, stables. Get the pony points. But in the meantime, oh. all right. Uh, no, it's the core. I thought it was like some weird bird, but it's the core rock with the rock in front of it. Okay, I oh, worry a little structure on that. Where's my pin? Oh, we didn't find a pin for it yet. Okay, but yeah, there was a shrine off to the side here, right? Just tap into the area. Oh, there's one. Another one up there. Let's tap into this one. And then we give them a long climb up this huge ass um, plateau. Alternatively, I might want to launch myself from, uh... What is that light? Oh, it's Sign Guy. Okay. I might help him out real quick. We haven't done one in a while. Yeah, what I can do is I can, um... Launch myself... Uh, from the Gerudo Tower and see if flying north is an easier way to do it. Because at this rate, I ain't seen shit. Ah, it's moist. Can't all be moist though, right? Yeah. Let's burn what we can. Or don't. I guess I could probably just glide in from a tree. I'm waiting to be assaulted by forestry bastards. Alternatively, I might have to build something. Can you photograph bird eggs? Can't photograph bird eggs. Okay. Some ingredients you can, some you can't. Alright, so... Gotta be careful. Land it. Got him. But now I gotta get back through there. Or not. Maybe... Some of this will burn? No. That's annoying. Okay, I guess we're dead. Well, I'll, I'll help sign guy another time. We know there's a thing there. All right, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll check the tower here. It's a matter of warp in, warp out, I guess. There was one like that, at least one like that in brief as well. So, bro for the wolf. All right. Look at that prominent lake looking thing. That's where we were.
All right, so we're going to glide north. There's the tower. We got him. Let's go. Glyph on the way, but I want to hit the tower first. That sounded ominous. I feel like I kind of want to sweep in over here to get on the higher part of the plateau, if nothing else. Just the hike from there, as long as we don't have to climb, it's not going to be nearly as bad. Cuckoo mode! Show me some bears, please! Alright, this is, it looks like it's not permanent snow either, so that's good. I don't want to interrupt their little camp. Push this as hard as we can. There we go. I think we're suffering snow slowdown, but yeah, I can see it being a little deep. So keep that in mind, especially if there's goo. But we finally learned that the trick for the goo is to just climb the hell out of it. Away from it. Doesn't do verticals all that well. I saw the trees wiggling in the wind. I was like, oh no. I don't want to deal with those bastards. But no, it's just... There might be a murder tree in there. I haven't seen a pine version yet, but... Ice fruit over there. It looked like there was like a rock just hanging out up here. I don't know if it was that was ice. Hey, friendo. Oh. Alright, oh. Where the heck is his crap? Buddy. I don't know where the head got to. I didn't know they could hop up hills. That's great. I love that. Alright, dead as dicks. Give me that. Alright, the common horn. That'll take. Oh no, I'm dead. Right, get rid of the crappy one. It's kind of a placeholder. Alright. Ice keys. Yeah, I'll melt that another time. I want this freaking tower. Oh, do I want this freaking tower? Pardon me, if, yeah, depending on the time, I kind of want to jump back and drop into the chasms near... Yeah, it's the tier 2 ones. All right. We are not going to deal with... Yeah, I want to drop down to the chasms near the start. And see if we can't, um, find, uh, what was it? Oh, let's see, yeah, keep an eye out for the, the dragon that flew, flew down there to see if it was one of the surface ones. On part of its rotation, or if it's a fourth dragon.
we're probably gonna end up doing a little climbing. Oh, there's a shrine not far from here too. Cool. Oh, hello. No, I want the frosty bits. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I swear, if you make it rainy for this climb, okay. If you make it rainy for this climb, it was just adjacent to the snow. I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna be a little upset, a little upset. All right, and then once we find this tower, maybe we can find some freaking bears. Uh, stone locks are gonna wait till nighttime. Probably open some more shrines. Oh, and I would need to find a lino. And I could have sworn we found a Stalnox near one of the stables or one of the towers. But I, it was too early. I can't remember which one. I guess I could look at the photo and see if... At least what kind of biome it's in so I know approximately what kind of area to look in. We got another research to weave here. We got a bloopy here. Diary of some sort, maybe? Alright, notes. Oh, housing construction. Who would have thought a scoping target would get stored in like that? Which looks like the cave stored the construction materials and it's safe. Okay, there's a cave. Over there. Okay, cave spotted. Oh, it's buried! I can't get in without the cave. Alright, well, this is the last one, so... Ideally, this either lets me go under it. And swoop in. I need to activate one. But now it'll be easy to find that at night. Okay. The tower's marked. Okay. Can't remember if we've taken a shot of a hardy truffle yet. Yes, maybe it was the big one that we hadn't yet. Wilson's records. I'm going to keep a record of my time working on Skyview Tower in the Gerdo Highlands. Day one. Started the site and started construction. Fortunately, a heavy snowstorm blew in as soon as we started. We had to stop and take shelter in a nearby cave. Good news, the cave was warm and safe. We decided to use it as our base camp for the rest of the project. Day three. The cave is bigger than any of us could have imagined. We explored inside while following the water downstream. When we were deep in the cave, we heard some hammering. I don't know how it sounded from outside, but it that far down. We will investigate tomorrow. Day 6. Here are some highlights from the cave investigation report. The cave continues all the way under the Skyview Tower. The tower's weight may be a problem. We should build a reinforcement in the cave so it doesn't sink. The tower's done. It was a breeze with poor clever design and the skillful prep work by housing construction. Although all of that legwork kept on-site assembly simple and efficient. Uh, since we may end up using the site again, we decided to leave some materials in the cave. Okay. Nice warm bowl of soup. Okay, so they said they followed it downstream and said it landed or ended up underneath the uh, thing. All right, so I think the idea is we make a raft. Yeah. That's not the grabby. Alright, hope. Oh. I don't really need a huge raft. Ooh, fishing. I have cave fish though, and if I try to go swimming for it, I'm gonna end up bloping myself. I kinda go like pontoon style here. I don't know if that's gonna help any, but. Visually, I just like it. 
stupid chairs in the way. Yeah, should probably turn it on its end anyway. Please don't fall on me. Okay, hope. Good enough. Oh yeah, that's perfect. All right. Alright, should I have to grab more stamina? Plus there's a waterfall there, interesting. Okay, but well, we're at the end anyway. Okay, cool. I'm guessing that's the reinforcement structure where we're gonna boop up. Uh, let me grab the raft, if I can. And worst comes worst, I think I can probably swim out to one of those posts and swing it back to shore. I feel like we took photos of sticky lizards. Yeah. What's this? Treasure! Up behind the waterfall. Go figure. Alright, shiny yellow rock. Oh, looks like I could have just walked there. Oh, that's probably the raft they used. That's cute. All right. Um. So ideally, yeah, we can just warp underneath. I'm guessing from where the lamps are. So yeah, if nothing else. Hopefully, this works. First comes to worst, we'll go over to that post, remove the raft over, and glide over a little further. No, we're good. All right. Ring ding. Oh, I love that it opens up into a sub cave. That's cool. Sifflina. All right. Let's launch. That's the last tower. All right, we got there. I have maps. Now we can actually... Get to work on anything useful. Oh, we can do it, so it's fine. I still want to find a bear. Like, usually I run the uh, segments of the playthrough anywhere between a minute five to a minute 15, so I'd like to at least get like 210, between 210 and two and a half hours. Uh, on the record before we go. So, all right, we found a second orb. I guess I'll just go to the t highest part of the plateau. And there was still that glyph, which I might try to mark real quick. I think it pauses me in midair when I do the scope, so. All right. Surface map complete, baby. Big ass hole down there too. Sky map complete. So now we're gonna just map the subsurface. All right, let me uh mark that bad boy. That's where the glyph is. If I see any others. 
That's the queen. I think that's the one we just did. Yeah, we did. Okay, I hope. Oh, no. Clear those two. I'm a dumbass. Alright, hope. That's a Gleok. So let me steer very rapidly the fuck away from that. Alright, I see a skull thing there. Probably an ice Gleok, but I can't be entirely sure. Like the little boulder just kind of chugging along at long distance there. I think the Master Gleox are only above up in the air. Oh yeah, we can mark this uh, chasm at least. Oh yeah, it's definitely looking frosty. All right. <laughs> Definitely want to grab every rush rush room we can because I need them for dying things purple if nothing else. Okay. Are those pebbets? Yes. Good eye. I don't think I found any magma pebbets yet. I'm pretty sure there was a fiery variant. Alright. Uh, where was that hole? We got updrafts. Well, if I don't find the hole, I'm at least gonna drop down to this shrine. You saw nothing! me up. Oh, we walked right around that hole, damn it. Comes to worst, we can hit that tower to get there. Okay, if anything, yeah, the next thing I want to do is probably mark all the chasm entrances. So they're on the map. And then that way. Like on the, uh. The underworld map. The depths map. I just wanted to find a freaking bear, man. Well, you're starting shit. I guess you need to fuck off. The blizz robe, I think. Yeah, not dealing with it. Go low.
Let's see if I can't just wiggle worm this. Oh, okay, we are at the edge of the world. Pigeon. I swear if I get Blizz Road while I'm sneaking off on this guy. White Pigeon, got him. Thanks, buddy. Alright, so what we're going to do... Is we're going to check out some holes. So like that's... Okay, we got that one. The big one. And this one here. Watch me. Is that a gore? Oh, yeah, 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 that is a chasm over there. <laughs> oh, pardon me. <laughs> no, that was weird. Try to go back into dive mode to activate the glidey boys. I don't know what this little weird glow ring around me is doing, but we're behind the Gleok, so that's good. I don't want to go in there yet, I just want to mark it. Just double check to make sure that marks down. Yep, okay, cool. It's marked. Uh, I guess I'll just walk to the big one. Actually, I hit that one on the way to the big one. Cool, cool, cool. And again, we're kind of looking for bears anyway, so. Just go south. We followed the donger. We should get there at south of Vitorsa. Okay. Up yours. Fuck you. Too high up. Yo, Scooty Puff, get your ass over here. Or fall in the hole. He's dead. I don't feel like fishing is crap. I don't know. It's, it, it's gone now. Alright. Do 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 do. Oh, we can do that. Uh, we can do one more memory before we go too. I think. Less I gotta deal with puppers, the better. Well, they didn't seem quite as... Uh, I've, I've, I've had one aggro pack. But just one. We got a photo of the pigeon, so that's good. I just want to take pictures of some bears. I hope they're not hibernating. Oh, that's, that's spicy, boy. Okay, 
let's start bearing kind of south here. Yeah, genuinely surprised we've not encountered any line elves in the overworld yet. Actually, that's right. Let me uh, check the compendium. Where's that Stelnox? I thought I found a Meteor Wiz robe. Vanega have their section, Pebbets have their section, so Talos follows. Stalnox. Would, oh, East Nakluda and Central Hyrule Death. So East Nakluda. Okay, well, that's easy enough. I am glad that it was recorded as to where I could find that mucka. Am I looking at the big one there? No. That is the one I want to go after, though, I think. That schmutz over there. I feel like we probably got this butterfly. Yeah. I know we got the cold darners. a spiral here on this mountain. Interesting. So lonely. I made an art piece of it. Ow. Since we had a nosh. That's great bass. Oh, okay. It's a stone circle. Korok nonsense. I'm kind of glad they showed that on the map. This spot is a lot easier. Alright. Drop that off. Oh, wait. There's more than one. Oh. A little better. It's good. And then one over here, and then there's one behind the rock there. Hopefully, I don't have to melt the ice to get to. But whatever. 
And they're usually pretty forgiving about where you put these. Korok me, baby. We still haven't found Hestu. <laughs> I have so much Korok poop and nowhere to spend it. Maybe that should be the priority next time. Let's get the Lost Woods and find that bastard. Oh, 